Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell is among heads of government in the Bahamas for the 44th meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of the Caribbean Community, or CARICOM, discussing the crisis stricken Haiti and other regional issues. Bahamas's Prime Minister Philip Davis, chairman of the 15-member regional integration grouping, said the region stands to benefit from Haiti's recovery. He urged regional leaders to use the past as a guide toward treating with Haiti and the rest of the region's issues. I believe we are in vigorous agreement that the crisis in Haiti requires our urgent attention. The turmoil and suffering there continue to worsen. As a near neighbor, the Bahamas is under great strain, and many other countries in our region are already heavily impacted. We will all benefit if Haiti is again fully functioning as a state. We should learn from the failures of past efforts to help, rather than use these disappointments as an excuse for inaction. I pray that we can agree a series of concrete steps to help move towards a solution for the Haitian people and the region as a whole. We have learned that inaction has its own costs and consequences. CARICOM Secretary General Dr. Carla Barnett during her address said that even as progress is being made on some fronts, CARICOM and the wider international community are struggling to help Haiti resolve its crises. We will continue our efforts to assist all stakeholders in Haiti to ensure a Haitian-owned resolution to the crises. We will have to show the resilience and the fortitude of the Haitian people as we strive to overcome challenges and advance the initiatives to improve the lives of all citizens of our Caribbean community. A group of 15 Haitians arrived in Grenada over the weekend via Trinidad and Tobago, but were repatriated to Trinidad on Monday night. The Twin Island Republic is now responsible for the group of seven females and eight males, all adults. The French-speaking individuals were denied entry into Grenada on two grounds, undesirable and a charge on the consolidated fund, which can result in them becoming destitute with insufficient funds to support themselves. They have not sought asylum or refugee status in Grenada. With Haiti being a CARICOM member, there are specific and limited grounds that can be used to prevent a CARICOM national from entering. Prime Minister Mitchell traveled to the Bahamas on Tuesday. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.